Hey guys, hi, it's Julie the Creative Chica again. Uh, I am bringing another little video, a little different than normal. Uh, this one is on nail stamping. I've used my nail stamps for all kinds of things, even in crafting. But I wanted to show you my little book and then I'm going to do some. I have some done and then we can do some cleanup and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to show you. This is my book. This is comes from uh, Bundle Monster. And I have a lot. So I used to do nails. I have a lot of a lot of these, and I decided to put them in a book. So here we go. Um, some of these come from Ojibas, and so these are the French designs. So they are meant to stamp. So you could stamp and only do the top. I've already stamped my nails on on some designs. I got one left here, and I wanted to show you more. So here are my designs, and I, these are all French designs, French nail, and these are abstracts, and I, they all come in this little pouch, and most of these are from Bundle Monster. I don't know if you can see these very well. I hope so. And um, these are flowers. Then we have holidays, and um, really pretty holiday ones. Let me pull one out. Um, here's... That one's a birthday. Here's a birthday one. I can take it out. Oh, so I can show you the birthday one. I hope that isn't too much of a glare. So that's a birthday one. And these are a lot of fun. Um, it's been a while since I've played with them. But they have Love, Valentine, and this one is a spring one. Little Chicks, Fourth of July. Uh, Chinese New Year, even some Halloween. I'm going to give these to my niece, or my granddaughter. She likes Halloween. So I have a bunch of Halloween ones here that I never opened. Um, they just came in a set. So if you like Halloween, this one is Beauty Big Bang. And so you can get them there. Some are square, some are um, circles. So there's another one from Beauty Bing, Big Bang. And you take off this blue uh, thing and you get the stamp underneath it. So I have a few of those. And then I'll just go through it quickly. There's some more. Um, and then I got some of the wipers. These are the things you wipe with. I have several. I even have some little store ones, you know, the, the key fob things. So here's some more. These are from Born Pretty. And again, these are beautiful. These have lace. It has a lace look to them. And some odd flowers and just different designs. Pretty paisleys. Things like that. And these are when I used to do Halloween for people. So this is all Halloween. These are double sided. And this is from OG Ubus. And I gotta clean this one, but this is um, Christmas. And it is double sided. So there's that. I keep them in the back of the book because they're too um, too big for the little slots. And then I use a clear jelly stamper stamp. And I'm going to show you now what I've pulled out and how I do it. I use these cotton puffs. These are from Daiso. They work good. And then I have some polish remover from Nature Republic. Um, and then I have some from Zoya. Now, you have to clean your nails first before you put your you do your base coat. So do your base coat. I've already done my base coat here. I'm using Naked Manicure from Zoya, Naked Base, already on. I'm using this uh, Island Coral because it was the closest I could get to an orangey color. So I'm going to do this so I can show you guys the best way to put on your polish. And... Um, so the best way to put on your polish is make sure if it's a thin one, you just get as much as you can off. And then you lay your your brush down, not up and down, but like this, so you can get the entire nail. Okay, so and then just turn it a little bit and turn it a little bit and try to get the edge. Don't go all the way your fingers if you can help it. Okay, and then this should level out and you can do another coat. So, um, I received, as a gift from my daughter, this little warmer from Jamberry. It's a heater, and you press it, and you warm it, and you just try to dry your nail. 
Now, I hope that's not too loud, but what I wanted to tell you was, so nail polish dries from the top down. Gel polishes dry from the bottom up. So when you are, um, and you can use any heater that you want for, um, for uh, drying your nails. Probably even our heat gun would be okay as long as we moved it fast enough. Uh, because that's basically what this is, but this is a very low, low key one. So you're not going to burn your fingers. Maybe a blow dryer on a very low setting you could do. Um, but anyway, so that's what this is. This is a heater, and I'll turn it off. And it's got this pedestal here, and it just folds up flat. So now I don't use the Jamberry, um, the little things from Jamberry. Uh, I have them, but I don't use them because they're a little too thick. Let me show you guys. Um, uh, this is something different. Where are they? She sent me a whole box of stuff from Jamberry. Here we go. So these are the Jamberry um, nail um, wraps, but they are a little thick, so they come up easily. They're pretty, though. They probably would work pretty well on your toes. But on your hands, look at how pretty these are. So I will play with these someday, and I will show you guys when I do it. It's kind of not the easiest thing to do, but um, I will do it. I thought doing my nails is easier, and um, so I thought I would do that. So now uh, I'm going to let this one dry. I'm going to move this heater out of the way, this um, dryer. And um, so I'm going to dump that out and put some new... Uh, repolish remover. Now, some of this polish remover has water. This one has water. I don't like the ones with water, so don't, if you can, just get acetone when you're doing stuff like this because it just works better. So, let me see. Did I, t did I go over this stuff? Yes, you got the, the color. So, the color I'm using by Sinful um, Colors is Island Coral. That's what this one is. And then um, my base coat I showed you guys was Naked Manicure by um, Zoya. And then I will be using the stamping polish, and I forgot who, where I got this, but I, I'm sure I got it online. I forgot the name of it. I'll try to link that below. And then um, my top coat will be by Morgan Taylor. It's a professional product. No light extended wear top coat. I'm sure you guys might be able to find it on Amazon. Um, now, this is the one I was using. I clean, I cleansed it with nail cleanser, and this is another professional product. But you can clean it with just polish remover alcohol, something that um, I would I would say clean your nails before you do this with alcohol, and then that would be good. So what I want to do is I'm going to, this one's dry, that one's probably still wet. So what I want to do is I'm going to do, now I left these um, stamped without cleaning them up so I could show you how to do it. So I want to put this, uh, these uh, leaves as like a French on the top of the middle one. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is a paper towel. This is one of the wipes. This is my stamper. It's a clear stamper. And what I normally use is I use tape to clean the top. Do not use polish remover on the top or it'll, it'll fog up and you'll never get it clean again. I got a little cleaner that I've had forever, and that works. So let's get started. So you take your polish remo uh, your your stamping. Now this is very pigmented. This is stamping polish, so it's very pigmented, and you um, will probably really like. And they have all kinds of colors. You'll probably really like it. So you just kind of do one swipe, put it back quickly. It dries very quickly, so you want to move quickly, and. Then you just stamp straight down. Okay, and now you got that. And now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to put it here. And then just stamp straight across. So there we go. That's all there is to that. Okay, this one I'll do later. Once I get dried, then we're going to do the whole, like the, the whole nail. Actually, I probably could. It feels pretty dry. Uh, although I would rather do two, um, two coats of polish, but that one's pretty dry and it's okay. So there you go. See, I grabbed some tape and what I'm doing is I'm lifting that right off. So it cleans it up very well. And if you get any on your skin, you could probably use the tape and bring it right off. Okay. So 
a lot of times that works. So if you want to do that, that'll help you from all the cleanup. And then um, I always like to clean my stamps right away. Although I have some in there that aren't, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. Maybe I was in a rush. But I do really like to clean my, my stamping plates right away. Because I don't want all that stuff in there. So there we go. There's that one. And this is a really cute plate. If you guys can see, I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to block the... The light oops sorry I moved a light but I hope you guys can see um, all the designs it's really cute and there this is by Wistonia W119 so if you like the the um, the design on that and then um, these um, the this one is from bundle monster H112 or H12 that's this one if you can see that and then this one that I'm going to use next this is Bundle Monster H11. Okay, so there's we're going to use the leaves. Um, the leaves. So we're going to do that. And so how you do that one is the same way. Is you just get an... Oops! That didn't work out. Hang on, guys. Let me wipe this. Don't want that in my way. Okay, so just make sure. Kind of take off a little bit. Then just do one line straight across. And make sure you got enough. And then you're going to wipe it to your to your right or to your left, whatever way you do it. And then you just kind of roll it. And now I have it here. And now I'm going to take it and I'm just going to roll it. Like that. Press and roll. Okay. So now I got it on my skin. No big deal. And um, I will show you. First I'm going to clean off my, my stamper. Take off. Take that off. And then I can go here. I'm going to clean it up anyway because I have a thing. But um, but you can use your tape. Okay. You can use your tape to clean off most of it. And then just come and wipe it clean. Okay. So there's that. We'll clean up the edges. And that's all of them. So now I'm going to show you guys how to clean them up. I'll clean that up later. Um, I cleaned it a little bit, but it's still kind of, uh, oops, wrong thing. That goes, always cover your stamper. So there's that. Close this up because it dries super fast. So let's put that away. And let's put our stamp, uh, our stamping plates away over here with the stamping um, scraper. And now all I got is my polish remover. And I'm just dipping it. Okay, I'm going to try to bring it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to bring it up here so you can see it better. And so all I do is get to the edge, wipe slowly, not too close to the nail. Okay, wipe there. I'm right-handed. It should be on my right. Dab it. Swipe. Okay, good. So you guys see how I'm doing this? Now, down here... You don't want to get way up there, so you want to get way barely on the bottom. Okay. If you need to, you can get a cuticle stick. I have a cuticle stick here. You can get a cuticle stick, and then you can barely get at the bottom. Okay, and into the edge. There, that's it. And anything else? Let's see, this one can use a little bit of cleanup in this corner. So I make sure it's not too close to the nail when I'm wiping. Okay. And that's good. This one I kind of cleaned up before. I, you want to pull away your skin with your finger. Just pull and then wipe your skin. Pull and wipe your skin. Okay. And then that's that. Now it's going to be a little harder because I am right handed. But um, I will try to do my left hand. I'll pull away my skin and try to wipe this. This takes a little bit longer. I am not going to do all this with you guys on camera. It will drive you crazy. So, but I just want to show you kind of some tricks of like how to clean it. So pull away your skin and push, push, okay. And that's the best way to do it, to stay off your nail, okay. So there's that. Now I am going to, I did pull a color that I really like. And that was this one by Zoya. And this is called 
Jenny. Now, one of the things is with nail stamping, you do not want to brush and brush and brush. You will the 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 polish or the the white polish part will streak. So you're only going to do one one swipe and that's it. Let it dry and then you can go ahead and do the rest. So I wanted to do this pretty uh, glittery one and I think I want to do it on my ring finger. So I'm just I'm going to lay my nail down and then I'm just going to do one swipe. Okay so not too much movement. I just let it sit basically and that's it. And now I'm going to let that dry before I do the rest. And um, that's really pretty. And so now I'm going to top coat the rest of these with my um, Morgan Taylor React No Light Extended Wear Top Coat. Okay, now this is, um, oh, maybe not. I don't think I'm going to use this one, guys. This one's dried out. Let me grab my other one. This is a really good one, but it dries out quick. So I'm going to get my, this is another really good one. You could probably buy this at Sally's. This one is called Setch Beat. And this is one of the really nice top coats that you can use for this. Again, you don't wipe and wipe and wipe just once. And that's it. Okay, so you just do one, one pass. Let me get a little bit off. And because you kind of want to, what we call float it on top. You kind of just want it to lay on top without the brush really hitting the design. Otherwise, it'll streak your design. So there's that. It'll um, even itself out. And this is a really nice one. A nice top coat. So you just want to. Hang on, that's a little much. There we go. There we go. You want to float it. That means that the brush is above on the, um, it's above, uh, let's see, what's between, the, this is between the brush and the nail. So that way, if you don't brush it if you don't touch your brush to the design it won't streak otherwise it'll streak on you it, it takes practice you guys just take a take your time and practice with it okay so that's it it will even itself out and it'll be beautiful so just get more here and this one's a good amount because it's a big bigger nail bigger surface as you can see it But if I were to continue, if I were to continue to rub it, it would streak my design. Okay, so I'm going to leave that the way it is. And that's how you use the stamp polishes. And then I, I think, and now I could probably use this even on my ring finger. It's warm enough in here to do that. And I can do it on this one too. Now it won't streak because you have a barrier between the two. So just go ahead and lay it down. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love the holographic on this one. See, this one you can manipulate a little more because you've put down a barrier between the, the uh, paint, the stamping paint. And so let me tell you guys this. If you have a thinner top coat and you just do that one top coat, then if you let it dry, it completely... And then you can go ahead and add more layers of this if you didn't get it how you wanted it. But you've got to let it dry. Otherwise, um, what you're just doing with this top coat, if you do one thin layer, is just putting a barrier. Just like I did here. I just put a thin barrier. So then you can go ahead and do that. So I hope that this helps. And it was a little different video on doing something fun like this I'm done for crafting today I'm kind of tired so I thought well I'll do I'll play with my nails it's been a long time since I played with my stamps my my stamping plates and I just thought I would show you guys and um yeah so I hope you guys learned something and I hope it wasn't too much for you guys so um I might come back this weekend I'm not sure but I hope you guys are having a good end of your week and I will see you guys in the next video